if you can get a handle on oxidation numbers, then a lot of the redox stuff will make a lot more sense. Um, now you don't necessarily have to use them, but in all instances, but you will, you do have to understand the concept and you will have to apply them. Basic rules, all pure elements and compounds equal zero. So for instance, pure hydrogen gas would have a charge of zero, as would pure water overall has a charge of zero. Uh, group one and group two equal their given charges. Those are going to be metals. So for instance, sodium in a compound would always have a plus one charge. Calcium in a compound would always have a plus two charge. So that, for instance, CaCl2. Okay. Calcium's in a compound, so therefore the calcium is going to be plus two. Complex ions or polyatomic ions equal the given charge. What do I mean by that? So for instance, NO3, the nitrate ion in your polyatomic ion table has a charge of negative one. That means the N and the three O's have to add up to equal negative one. Oxygen will always be negative two in a compound. So for instance, if I look at water again, always in a compound, therefore it has a charge of negative two. However, unless it's in a peroxide. Okay, there are some exceptions here and there, in which case the O is negative one. And then hydrogen is always going to be plus one in the compound, unless it's in a metal hydride, and this is a metal hydride, basically an ionic compound where hydrogen is second. Uh, in which case it will be negative one, and then another rule which kind of overrides everything else is fluorine. If you have fluorine in a compound, it will always be negative one, no matter what. So for instance, you would expect oxygen to be negative two because it's in a compound, but it's not because fluorine is there. So fluorine is negative one, there's two of them for negative two, therefore O would actually be plus two. All right, so next slide we'll, we'll work out some examples. So question could be, identify the oxidation numbers in, of each atom in this compound. Well, what you're going to do is use the rules to determine oxidation numbers of things you do know to figure out what you don't know. So for instance, potassium is a group one metal, so it has a plus one charge. There's, but there are two of them for a total of plus two. Now keep in mind, oxidation numbers, we're being asked to identify them as for the individual atoms only, or ions. Now oxygen, another part of our rules, it's in a compound, so it's going to be negative two, and this isn't a peroxide, so that's fine. Now, but there are seven of them for minus 14. Okay, so oh yeah, another rule, pure compound, like dichro potassium dichromate, the total charge would equal zero. So that means that my total positives and negatives have to add up to equal zero, which means total chromium must be plus 12. Plus 12 plus 2 is 14, minus the 14 from the oxygens, give me 0. Okay, perfect. So all that added up equals 0. But now each, I'm not done yet, each chromium, since there are two of them, each chromium must have a charge of plus 6. So those are my three oxidation numbers. Okay, another example, I mentioned the, the uh, nitrate before. Okay, the nitrate ion. The total charge on that compound, sorry, that polyatomic ion, is negative one. Well, I know that oxygen is negative two, and there are three of them for minus six. So, what does that make the nitrogen? Nitrogen must be plus five. Plus five, negative six equals negative one. Good. Well, that's how they work. Okay, some of them are smaller than others, but in the rules are all the same. Now, one thing is, um, you see a whole number of charges here. You can potentially get uh, a partial charge. So here's an example. I don't see it too often, but it can occur. So for instance, this iron 3,4 hydroxide. O is negative two, four of them for negative eight, which means my total positive must be plus eight because it's a pure compound. Then there's three of them. That means each iron actually has a partial charge of plus 8 over 3. Okay. Kind of weird looking, but it's okay.